Hi, I'm Macaulay, and today I'm going to be doing another speed build of another tiny house. This one is going to be a little bit more of a traditional tiny house, so it's going to be smaller than the last one I built, and it's going to have less of the modern conveniences as well. So I'm starting this off with a little bit of some neutral colors, a little bit more of a neutral scheme, and then with the wall colors and the decorations, I'm going to make it a lot more colorful. So you can see here that I made the bedroom purple. That's just because purple is my personal favorite color. Obviously you can change that if you were using this house for your own purposes. And then I tried to make the living room a little bit more neutral because I knew I was going to be adding things like couches and um, posters and art and decorations in there. I also started off a little bit too ambitious, made this house a little bit too small, so if you're worried about that, don't worry, I make it bigger in a second. Um, and I also, I put these cute little pink countertops in the bathroom, and I ended up making the kitchen kind of blue with all the appliances. Um, just because I like those colors, and I feel like those are kind of fun, but also not too out there. Again, obviously, you can change those if you download this. And I also tried really hard to make the fridge into a mini fridge, but for whatever reason, it kept glitching out and kept becoming bigger every time I actually placed it down. So no mini fridge. Unfortunately, my sim has to have a normal size fridge, but that's okay. I also ended up making the microwave pink just because I didn't want everything to be super monotonous and, you know, all blue in this room. Um, but again, you can change that if that's not what you want for your house. And then I ended up making the couch a kind of pinkish purplish color because again, I just love colorful things and I love the color purple. And I actually, um, I put a dining room table into the kitchen slash living room area and that actually doesn't work out well for me when I started playing with this house because I wanted to have a desk. So if you need to change that into a desk instead of a table, that's what I did, so feel free to do that. I also ended up making it a little bit bigger, which gave room for a closet, which is nice because the Sim didn't have any storage space before that closet was put in. I also played around with a couple different kinds of dining room situations. I put in a bar and I changed it out and eventually went with this really nice modern long dining room table but that didn't even matter in the end because I just got rid of it so that I could put in a desk. So if you need to do that feel free to do so. I also ended up um, changing those chairs so they don't remain as stools so if you do download this they won't be stools they'll be the ladder chairs but I think those are cute too. So now I'm just adding in some shelves and a couple of miscellaneous items just to make it look more lived in and more realistic as a home because I think in The Sims that always makes it look so much nicer, you know, when you have a little bit of clutter around, it looks like some somewhere that someone might actually want to live in. I also found these really nice, really big plants to put in the bedroom. I feel like that's really nice, really makes it look a lot homier. And since I am in Pride Month making this, I actually found that The Sims had all different kinds of pride flags, not just the rainbow one, which I thought was pretty cool. And I'm also sizing up the mirrors behind the bed and sizing down the lights. If you want to do this, just do shift bracket. A open bracket makes it smaller and a closed bracket makes it larger, I believe. And then I'm just kind of putting more clutter around, moving things around, making it look really lived in and nice and like somewhere that I would actually want to live. I also found a lot of really nice um, paintings to put on the walls and they're kind of on the creepier side. I liked them, the ones that I chose, but if you end up not liking them, you can of course change them, choose some different paintings but I just really liked these three that I chose together. Moving on to the outside of the house, I just did a very basic, very simple roof, and I actually expanded it a little bit past the house just because I think it looks kind of cute to have an overhanging roof. 
I don't know why, I just think it looks a little less boxy, breaks up some of the straight lines, and obviously every house has to have windows, so I added some of those in. I also ended up putting a nice little, it's kind of a porch on the front of the house. I debated that in the last house that I did and didn't end up going with it, but I thought it turned out well on this one, looked kind of nice. I also played around with a different, a couple different types of tiling for the roof, ended up going with the kind of jagged and crooked tiles on top. I also ended up going with this nice kind of white outside. I think it looks good and I started putting a bunch of plants. I know this area is a desert and you might not typically have plants but I think plants just kind of make everything look a little bit nicer and so even in the desert I wanted my sims to have a nice house so I added in some plants on the outside. I'm also going to be honest with you, I didn't notice until after I had finished recording and already uploaded it and everything, this wall in the bathroom does not have wallpaper on it. Yeah. And finally, on the outside, I added in a foundation. I didn't do this on my last house, and I definitely regret it because I think it looks a lot cuter with a foundation on it and more like a complete home. So if you want to download this house, my username on The Sims is SMCCK, you can see it on the bottom of the screen, and I just named this Traditional Tiny Home. So go check it out, I hope you like it, and I hope you use this house. Thank you so much for watching.